Well, are you ready for some more bowsprit fun? Because that's what we're working on today, bowsprit. In fact, today we are drilling. We are about to undertake a very intense moment in the construction phase of the bowsprit. Yes, we are. And it's exciting because what I'm doing is I'm drilling the holes for the bolts that hold the bowsprit to the deck. And they are a wee bit of a challenge, and I'll tell you why. The bowsprit sits on the deck like so, on an angle. But the bolt holes have to go perpendicular. So how do you create that angle with a drill? I don't have a, an attachment for my drill that you know, will work as a drill press. I can't put this in a drill press. It's just too big and awkward. So how do you do it? Well, I came up with a plan. I came up with a very awesome, at least I think it's an awesome plan. This is the teak wedge that sits underneath the bowsprit to give it the angle. Uh, I measured on the deck the distance from the Samson post to the edge of the wedge. Mark that on the bowsprit. Okay, so now I have a correctly positioned wedge on my bowsprit. So what? Still doesn't solve my ang angle issue, does it? So here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to put a level on the piece of teak and we're going to elevate the back end of the bowsprit until it is level. It's about there. We'll block it up and then we'll drill it and our bolt holes will be straight. That's the plan. That's the theory. Stay tuned. This is what my rig looks like. I've got my teak block clamped in place. I've measured distances on either side, measured distance from the end, and I've set the angle. This is my little level right here. And I set the angle just so. So now comes the incredible moment of excitement and tension as we take our drill and drill. Fiberglass is a lot tougher than wood. Sometimes the best laid plans of mice and men don't work out. Let me explain what happened. The Teak spacer block, <clears throat> if you look at the holes, they're not plumb. This is the same same thing that happened on the boomkin. The uh, uh, original builder, it looks like he just kind of eyeballed it and drilled holes rather than you know making a line and keeping them plumb. I don't know if there was a reason for that, but that's just the way it is. So the teak spacer block lines up with the holes in the deck. Uh, but that means that I have to create holes in the bowsprit that are not plumb. I can't simply draw a line on the bowsprit and d drill holes. That's what I did on the boomkin. Then I discovered that they weren't plumb, which is kind of a drag. So the issue with the spacer block is that the spacer block can go on the uh, bowsprit that way or that way, right side up or right side down. Take a pick. And of course, it's going to affect the line, the alignment. The center, the center hole is a little bit off, and so if you flip it over, it's going to be off the wrong way. Let me show you what happened. So here we are. I drilled two quarter inch holes <clears throat> yesterday and filled them. And the permanent holes are going to be half inch. And I was expecting to have an nice epoxy sleeve. But as you can see, I've basically got this kind of half moon thing going on. And uh, half moon isn't what I had planned or hoped for. So I'm going to refill 
and redrill and uh, hopefully next time around be a little bit more successful see you can see it kind of defeats the whole purpose right i've got half half epoxy half wood same thing in this one you can't see it as well because of the lighting in here but basically half the hole is epoxy and half the hole is bare wood this one uh, i succeeded in um in keeping the half inch hole inside the the uh, three quarter inch hole. So I've got a, an epoxy sleeve, but it's very thin up here. So given that I have to refill two holes with epoxy, I'm going to refill all of them. Make sure that my um, cheek spacer block is in the right place next time. And uh, let it sit overnight. We'll come back at her tomorrow. We'll be in a better frame of mind. Not that I'm in a bad frame of mind, but that's just the way it goes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you have to win later. So I'm going to go home and enjoy a nice quiet evening. Fair winds, following seas, and God bless.